Hi everyone, this is Quinta. I have a resin update. So I'm going to show you some resin pieces that I have done. Um, they're not glazed yet with resin, but they are painted either with paint or no polish. And here are these two jacks. I just thought it would be neat to do one a different color. So that's how those turned out. And I also did some Hello Kitties. This one I did with no polish, and this one I did with paint. As you can see, it's real matte, but that really doesn't matter because I will be glazing all of these pieces. And I have another Hello Kitty, a small one with a zebra bow, and my little skull. And I had also made this piece, but it was a fail because there is glitter in front of her face. So what I'll probably do is just put another sticker on top and reglaze it on top to fix it. It did come out really pretty. I like this mold because there is no watermarks whatsoever. So this mold's pretty cool. And I also made um, this cross. I think it came out really pretty. I like the color of it also. And I made this heart, which I do need a glaze as well. I painted this corset. I think it looks really cute. I probably will add a few rhinestones scattered through the bottom and the top. And made these giant bows. So sparkly. And then I also made some with sprinkles. I think those came out pretty cool. And I also made this piece here. And this piece, it is painted with no polish. Um, right now, this is like my favorite paint color right now. It's from Wet n Wild. Um, if you do want to know the color on this, um, I would have to look for the nail polish and I'll message later or comment down below. But um, I think it's a pretty pink pearl and it made this piece look really, really cute. Very cute. And... And this piece has also been done by nail polish. Came out super adorable. Um, I'm sure I probably could leave it as is, but I rather glaze it with resin to protect it from scratching off or peeling or anything like that. So that's how this one came out. And I also did this piece. It looks real retro and cool. Different. So that's how that looks with a bunch of polka dots. Okay, and I also made a necklace, the princess and Mario. And here's the beaded part of the necklace. I think it looks really cool. And oh, and these two little um. When I have extra resin, I pour into this mold. Mix it little candies. And I'm also working on these right here. These two. Um, haven't poured uh, the following layer on it, so I need to do that today. And I also did this necklace. This is one of my... Um, um, how do you say, one of my uh, popular seller items. I think I've made this piece over and over already. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. Um, this is also painted um, with no polish. Um, I poured into the resin mold with um, Prolex, the black one. And then I painted the, the pink no polish all over it. And it is glazed with resin. So I think it looks really cute. Like that. 
And I believe that's it for right now. I know I haven't made any updates recently, but I will be doing that soon. Um, it's a new year, so I will be posting plenty more videos now. And I will make time for them in the evenings. And I also wanted to show this kitty. This is for me. It's a personal necklace. Um, I have made it for myself. I do still have to glaze on top um, to protect the eyes and the little rhinestone nose. But I did do the wire wrap. As you can see, I think the wire wrap came out really awesome. So that's how this one looks. And I will be making a, a necklace for it as well with um, pink and black and maybe some silver. But I hope you like my update and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye.